Hello guys and girls, we are here expand your consciousness, giving you the best life advice and exposing the matrix. In this video we're gonna talk about you know, about this question you have to make to yourself. Why am I unhappy? Okay, what is going on here? What is happening with me? Why do I live life from this from this perception, from this place? Why am I unhappy? What, what did I do wrong? Why? What did I do and I feel this way? I, can I ever find someone to connect with? Will I be lonely forever, you know, during those loneliness moments that you experience the dance of life and uh, all these low vibrations? What is the meaning of life? All these questions. Why does the world overwhelm me? What is going on? Why, why am I suffering? How can I stop suffering? How often do you find yourself struggling uh, with uh, those questions? Loneliness, fear, pain, suffering, feeling overwhelmed every single day. You might have reached uh, to a point in life where uh, you don't know what the hell you suffer so much. And not only that, but you feel um, sick and tired of pain and you want it to stop. There are many reasons why you experience uh, these things. I'm gonna say what happened in uh, my journey and what I see, what I see in my journey, okay? Number one reason you can experience all of this is during your spiritual awakening you you, you, you if you experience the spiritual awakening most likely you have um, experienced all of the both okay and that spiritual awakening might have happened as a result of trauma as a result of a traumatic experience, you know, tragedy, major life changes, everything collapsing. Simply because your soul is evolving. Simply because your soul is maturing. You're becoming mature now. And uh, this is happening during the um, dark night of the soul. Okay, you might experience all these feelings. You might uh, get completely disconnected from the divine. You might uh, lose all the meaning in life. You might uh, feel betrayed or forsaken by the divine. Uh, you, you might feel a little bit, a little bit shaky, you know, unstable. You might be feeling like you are in an endless dark void, and that's true. That's true. But you have to go through this. Okay, you have to go through this. And uh, well, if if you if spiritual awakening has happened to you you already know that everything is working for you and it's, it's happening for your evolution so m most likely most likely you're gonna go straight ahead through all this but everyone even uh, when you know the path there's a difference between walking the path and knowing the path okay and it gets tough and you need support of course everybody needs support and although this might feel like a terrible experience and you might feel like uh, you're unhappy you have to pay attention on what you become during those moments the dark night of the soul is coming for the whole collective now on earth okay it's time for uh, almost all human beings to experience it for the majority of human beings to experience it okay so if you walk this path, if you save me from the future and uh, if you walk this path, keep going. Keep going, try to see the lesson, try to see the divine perfection behind every experience you live. Try to see who did you meet in there that you shouldn't have met otherwise. For example, it might be a doctor, it might be a friend, it might be anything. Okay, try, try to have this perspective, try to see the divine perfection and the purpose behind the experience you are living. And it's gonna be easier for you, when you know the bigger picture, it's gonna be easier for you to navigate through it. It, it, won't be, it, it will be fully, you know, full challenges, but it's gonna be easier to know where you're going, to know your direction. Okay, number three, another is, uh, that's called causing you all this unhappiness, all these uh, questions that I told you above, is that you were born with a high level of sensitivity, you are an empath. Okay, and 
in this noise and um, chaotic world, this uh, can drown you. You can drown to your own sorrow because you're you're absorbing everything from your environment, and this might cause you to feel tired. You know, with all this crazy stuff that is going on in the world right now. Okay, this might you know drain you. And they also they also told you since the moment of your birth that your sensitivity is your weakness. Your sensitivity is a gift of awareness. You're more aware. You're here for a big change. Okay, you have to remember who you are. You have to wake up to your power. Become more sensitive. Open up your heart. You shut down your heart uh, as you were growing up, or due to your greatest lover. Open it up. Open it up. It's, it hides all your gifts. Okay, and there are a lot of, uh, especially for empaths and for old souls, old souls that haven't woken up yet, they won't remember, they, they will always have this uh, high sensitivity, okay? And um, this is the key to connect with your, with, with uh, the wisdom of your soul, okay? This is the key. And uh, for, all the, for all the old souls up there, you're gonna feel isolated, okay? You're gonna feel isolated and yeah, a little bit lonely during those experiences, but you'll see that the universe always sends you the person that you need in the perfect time. You are never alone. You can you can't be alone. We are all connected, and of course you have experienced it. Uh, if your spiritual awakening has happened, you have experienced the, the um, oneness between everybody and everything. Okay. So yeah, sensitivity, sensitivity. Another thing that may cause you all this question, all this unhappiness, all this suffering, all this darkness. As I'm saying again and again and again and again and again, low vibration energy comes by default and revolves around matter. High vibration energy has to be summoned and revolves around the idea of your soul, around the idea of your presence. So if you are disconnected, if you experience soul loss, if you are disconnected from your soul, low vibration energy comes by default and you're gonna suffer like crazy you're gonna experience the hell on earth you, you're gonna feel empty you're gonna have uh, missing pieces you will be searching out there due to the matrix programming you will be searching out there to fulfill your inner void but it will never be th this will never be the solution you will always keep getting out there as long as you are focusing out there you will always keep getting a direct reflection of your inner condition so for example if you have the fear of abandonment if you are emotional and unavailable if uh, if you are your heart center is closed it's gonna attract a person up there that um, on the inside is exactly like you because this is the law of attraction I like energies synchronizes with I like energies and it's all a matter of perspective uh, perception if you change your perception now you can evolve if instead instead of looking up there you go inside now you can evolve now you can change yourself and change your environment and change everything save humanity okay so how do you solve this inner work inner work is the key okay you have to dive deep inside yourself you have to dive deep to to see why the heck am i creating anxiety why the heck am i creating stress it's all a program in my mind someone has my mind why, why why the heck do do I self distract myself? Why the heck do I hate myself? Why the heck am I so disconnected? There are some blocks right there. You are body, mind, and soul, but there are some blocks in your mind and body that cause you to that disconnects you from your soul and cause imbalance in your system and suffering in your uh, in your experience. I never work. Learn how to love yourself. Practice self care. Practice self love. Go to the place where you feel your most power. Embrace the nature. The nature is healing. It's embrace the nature. The sun, vitamin D, the moon it spikes the intuitive abilities. Cardio in nature. Work out in nature. Move your body. Treat it like a temple. Feed it well. Do shadow work, work on your, own, on, your, on your shadow side, on your unconscious. This is the key, this is why you feel unhappy. Because there are parts of you 
that you need to take a look at. You are anxious from yourself your whole entire life. You are living unconsciously. And now all this has to change. Okay. You have to do an child work. This is the change. This is the change. Happiness has to be created from the inside. And if you want to be happy, you have to love yourself. You have to, f to rise in love within. Find that self-love within and rise in love. Increase your vibe, increase your vibration. I I'm gonna leave in the end of this video how to do inner work, yeah, how to love yourself and uh, how to raise your vibration. Raising your vibration is the change. It's the change. But you have to go deep, you have to go really deep, super deep. You have to go deeper into the unconscious to do shadow work to change. You see, you can change the program of your. Uh, uh, um, you have to do shadow work. You have to change the program of your subconscious mind. You have to install belief systems because it's all belief systems. Uh, you have to, to install belief systems that serve you and serve the entire human race. You have to, um, you know, to increase your vibration. I'm gonna leave a video like this. Then you have to change your habits, external things like uh, taking care of your outer body, you know. You have to, this is self love, guys. You have to do a lot of changes in your life if you want to find happiness. And it all begins when happiness begins in peace, when there is, um, uh, when the mind, the heart, the third eye, and the soul work together in harmony. Okay, this is where peace exists. and. Uh, you're gonna be you're gonna be really wealthy when you find peace within. When they when there is no enemy within, the enemy outside can do you no harm. The chaos is out there right now. Within you can be peaceful. Okay. Thanks for watching guys, this is a video for today. If you like the video, share the message, subscribe to the channel, support the channel. Thank you so much for watching. Peace and glory.